We're going to show you right now how to take a voltage reading and check to see if you have power coming out of one of these uh, AC adapters that's used on many different products. The first thing you always want to do is you want to make sure that it's plugged into the wall. That is the most basic check before you do anything. Now that we've verified it's plugged in the walls, we're going to grab the other end here and our multimeter. We're going to set it to DC voltage. I'm going to slide the black into the hole. Just touch the red on the outside. You want to be careful. And we should be getting about 12 volts DC. If you look at our meter right now, we got 12.33. Now, if we check this and we don't have voltage coming out of here, we verified that it's plugged into the wall, yet there's still no voltage, there's one more spot we want to check. If you'll notice on most of these AC adapters, you know, you have your, uh, your power, the box here, this cable that's already connected into the whole thing, uh, and then you'll have another connection here, and this is actually the cable, uh, the power cord that goes into the wall. Um, you want to double check this and make sure this is uh, securely into the uh, box. Sometimes over uh, people can kick them, they get a little bit loose. Uh, we strongly recommend that you completely disconnect it and then firmly reconnect it to make sure you've got a good connection. If you still don't have anything coming out of this end, verify that it's plugged into the wall. We got a good connection here. The last thing we want to do is we're going to check power coming out of the wall. Last part is just checking that wall voltage. You want to get your multimeter. Uh, you want to put it to AC voltage and slide your leads into the outlet and you should get about, depending where you live, Right here we have like 120 volts coming out of there. Uh, if you start to see something in like the 90 volt range, that's kind of low. Uh, also depending on wh uh, where you're at, in some countries uh, you'll have a 220 volts coming out. Here we have two, uh, 120. We're looking pretty good. We got voltage. If I've done all these checks and I didn't have any power coming out of that AC adapter, chances are there's something wrong with that adapter and I want to get it replaced. If I check this and I have no voltage coming out of the wall, my wall breaker has been tripped and i got to go figure out where that breaker is and flip it back on.